Hi, my name is Cody Blankenship, owner of 4B Transportation out of Valley Mills, Texas. Been trucking for off and on for almost 15 years. Uh, anything from heavy haul to uh, hauling cattle, and we do uh, fresh product out of the field and uh, potatoes and cheese and any kind of refrigerator freight with uh, 2004 reefer. Today, oh, we've been doing uh, Black Eyed Pea Hall for, uh, for uh, Allen's Incorporated uh, out of South Texas, uh, going to uh, Arkansas and uh, brought some to Bells, Tennessee, um, delivering for Fresh Frozen, uh, fresh out of the field to uh, uh, the cannery also, uh, putting, the, putting the peas in the, in the can. I started the October 15th and uh, just finished, uh, this was the last load of the harvest. Uh, I think we've got... Uh, one or two loads still coming in, but that's the end of the end of the season. Okay. This is the first uh, good harvest that we've had in over three years. Okay. Yeah. I think they had uh, roughly 10,000 acres contracted this year. Okay. Um, and all, all in the South Texas area. Okay. All black eyed peas. All black eyed peas. They yeah. they do have other areas of the country. They but uh, that's usually their big big harvest area okay. down in South Texas around Corpus Christi. I uh, usually get uh, a round trip rate. Uh, the, the rate is by the tonnage, so it uh, varies between uh, 350 to $4 a mile okay. on the rate. Right. Uh, they like for you to stay in a rotation to, uh, you know, to get back and be in line for the next round, so they, they pay, try to pay some round trip rate on the, on the freight rates. Gotcha. We do load back uh, whenever time permits. Uh, they're, they're not pressing us. Uh, you know, we've got the time. To take a break for rain delay, or uh, you know, waiting for the product to grow and get ready. Uh, we, we do uh, we do load as much as we can. So, okay. Yeah, today we brought a load in, dropped it off. We're fixing to pick up in uh, Memphis, Tennessee, and take a load of cottonseed meal back to Texas. So get okay. us back home for Christmas. I've got a 2004 Great Dane. Uh, okay. uh, I do a lot of the hauling for uh, Transplace. We haul cheese out of uh, the Panhandle of Texas over to Mississippi. Uh, we have a lot of potato customers in Texas and Nebraska. We do uh, seed potatoes in the winter. Uh, coming to Texas, uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, they start the uh, potato harvest in the spring in Texas. We Help supply Zaps, potato chips, uh, Frito Lay. Uh, we do russet potatoes out of the Texas Panhandle to Dallas uh, okay. for uh, several uh, packaging companies. As long as the rate is fair, we will try to work with the customer. Uh, the reefer, uh, the reefer freight, I, I, I do use brokers, and I do have some direct customers. Okay. Uh, so I, I, I blend the two together and try to make it all work to make it pay. So. The truck is a uh, 2003 W900B. Uh, I've had the truck for about four years. Uh, it's got 6NZ Caterpillar. Uh, the truck has uh, got 1.2 million miles on it. Uh, still running well. Uh, take care of it. We do our own maintenance. We uh, change our own oil. We, we take care of it at, at the shop there at, uh, at my place. And, uh, okay. It's done a very, very good job for it. The trailer is a 1993 Corn Husker convertible. Uh, it's a hopper bottom that converts into a flat floor van. Uh, we, we use it for uh, hauling spinach, carrots, beets, green beans. Uh, we can do corn, uh, fertilizer, anything for backhaul and hopper bottom. So uh, it's a dual purpose trailer. It's, Typically heavier than a regular hopper bottom, but uh, it's, it's a versatile trailer and uh, it, it works well with doing the specialized uh, vegetables out of the field, especially on the green bean haul. So, okay. uh, had this trailer for about four years. And, uh, it's, uh, it's it's been a good asset to have the, the convertible with the reefer to uh, keep me busy year round.